right, we're going to be solving an equation with variables on both sides. We're going to be using graspable math as a powerful learning tool to do that and make sense of it. The neat thing about graspable math is it, uh, it helps students really focus on the algebra and, and really the rules of algebra. And uh, it's a great learning tool. Plus, it makes it super fun to substitute our value uh, back into the original equation to make sure we got it right. So uh, let's just get started with graspable math. And, and so we're going to start with this uh, equation 12 times the quantity 5 plus 2x is equal to 4x minus 3 uh, minus the quantity 3 minus 13x. Now, the neat thing about graspable math is if I want to break a rule, so I, by the way, I'm at graspablemath.com. So if I want to break the rule and somehow want to simplify this 13, uh, 3 minus 13x. The way I would try and simplify it is I'd click on that operator. And if I could simplify it, they would be simplified. But um, it's shaking its head. Look at that. It's going, nope, nope, you are not allowed to do that. It's like, oh, OK. But if I click on this minus sign right here, I am allowed to do that. It's going to distribute the, the negative across that, that parenthesis. And now I want to simplify this 4x plus 3x. All right, so the way I do that, in fact, if I try and just click on the, double click on this plus sign, see that? It's trying, it says, no, you are not allowed to simplify the 3 and the 13x. Would you stop doing that? And if I click on this minus sign right here, it says, no, you are not allowed to simplify the 4x minus 3. Uh, so, but if I click on this plus sign for the plus 13x and drag it on top of the 4x, now I get 17x minus 3. Oh, I was able to do that portion. And then similarly on the left side, uh, I know I can't add the 5 plus 2x, but if I click and hold on that 12 and drag it into the parentheses, it's going to distribute that 12 across the parentheses, giving me 60 plus 24x. So now I've got this wonderful equation with variables on both sides. I like to get the variables on one side and the constants on the right because that's kind of what you tend to, you're supposed to do. So uh, I'm going to try and get the variables on the left side. All right. Now, a couple of ways to use graspable math to show that. One way is I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to select the 17x, making sure that only the 17 and the x are highlighted. Not, I didn't accidentally get the the equal sign or the minus sign. And with that 17x highlighted, I'm going to drag it over to the left side. And it doesn't really matter where on the left side, but I'll put it next to that 24x. And look at that. I get the minus 17. So I'm going to undo that and let you see that again. I'm going to hold down the shift key, select the 17x. And as I move it over, you'll notice it's a there's a little ghosting positive 17x. But as I move it over, watch what happens, it and let go, it becomes negative 17x. Now, if you're a teacher who does not like that kind of interface, that's okay, I got another option for you. So going back to that step right there, I'm gonna click and hold on the equal sign and I get a keyboard down below that pops up. It says, what do you wanna do to the equation? That's E stands for the equation. Well, what I want to do is I want to subtract 17x from both sides. And then I click the Enter key and look at that. It puts a, 17, a minus 17x on both sides of that equation. On the right side, I just click on that minus sign for that minus 17x. And I put it on top of the 17x. And that simplifies it and makes it go away. Now on the left side, I'm going to just all I have to do at this point is just click on the minus sign and it'll simplify those two because they were adjacent. They were next to one another. All right, now I get a nice equation with variable on one side. I want to get rid of that 60. So two ways to do it. First way, I'm going to hold down the shift key, select the 60 and move it across the, the equal sign. It starts out as a positive 60, but when I move it to the right side and let go, it becomes a minus 60. If you're a teacher who does not like that kind of interface, I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to click and hold on my equal sign. 
it pulls up the keyboard editor and I'm gonna subtract 60 from both sides of the equation. I'm gonna click done. And there's my more traditional minus 60 from both sides. I can click and hold on that minus 60 on the, on the left side of the equation and put it on top of the positive 60, it makes the 60s go away. And on the right side, I can just click on that minus sign and it combines the minus three minus 60 and gives me negative 63. Now, again, two ways to show my next step. Either I can click and hold on that times by seven and drag it across and it becomes divide by seven. And if you don't like that interface, that's okay. I got an option for you. We're gonna click and hold on the equal sign and then I'm just gonna do divide by seven. So it's gonna divide both sides of the equation by seven. And then all I have to do is click the division symbols to simplify both sides and I get X is equal to negative nine. All right, so I'm gonna click and hold on this bottom circle and close everything up all the way back to the original e equation. Now remember, uh, I don't know if I said that in this video yet, but <laughs> as I mouse over this first equation, notice that circle shows up. All right, so whenever I mouse over it, there's that circle. I'm gonna click and hold on that circle and I'm gonna drag it way over. It really doesn't matter where I drag it to. What that does is it makes an exact copy of that original equation of that circle that I, I clicked and dragged on. I'm gonna use the arrange button and oh, let's put the equation on the right side. Let's put this equation on the left side. So the answer, we think X is equal to negative nine. I put it on the right side and now I'm gonna click transform. And on this left side, this is where we're gonna do the substitution to see if we're right, if we're correct. Now check this out. We think X is equal to negative nine. So I'm gonna click and hold on this X on the right side click and hold on it. And as I mouse over, I'm clicking and holding. I'm not, I haven't let go of my mouse yet. But as I mouse over each of the X's, it highlights, doesn't it? And so I, uh, it doesn't matter which X I, I highlight, but when I let go, all of the X's are gonna be, are gonna be replaced by negative nine. Look at that. That is just so stinking cool. All right, and now it's just a matter of clicking through the operations following uh, the order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, knowing that multiply generally comes before division, although there's always exceptions. That's why PEMDAS doesn't really work, and, uh, and this is the power of graspable math. So now students don't have to dread trying to cr check their work but making an arithmetic error, because graspable math is gonna take care of that. So all the student has to know is the order of operations. What am I supposed to do? Uh, for example, I'm gonna zoom in here. If I click on this minus sign, trying to subtract three minus 13, before doing the multiplication, it's gonna shake its head and it's gonna say, no, you are not allowed to do that. Oh yeah, I need to click on this multiplication to do the multiplication first. And then I'll simplify this three minus negative 117. I wonder what happens if I can just click and put it on top. Oh, it factored out. I didn't, I don't like that. It factored out a three. So what I'll do is I'm just going to click on the minus sign. It converts it to a plus. Click on the plus. It adds those together. And now I got four times negative nine minus 120. If I click on that minus sign, it's going to say, no, you're not allowed to do that. You gotta take care of the multiplication first, then you can do the subtraction. And so now the right side of that equation is equal to negative 156. I can click on that circle and drag it up to kind of hide all of that other work. And now I can really start focusing on the left side. The left side, I'm gonna begin by working on the parentheses inside. I'm gonna click the multiplication, which gives me negative 18. I'm gonna click that plus sign, which gives me minus 18. I'm gonna click that minus and it gives me, it combines that five minus 18 and gives me negative 13. And then I'm gonna 
click the multiplication and look at that negative 156 is equal to negative 156 which means that negative 9 was correct and that's it folks graspable math unbelievably powerful and it helps students focus on what's important it helps them focus on the algebra and the algebraic steps so that they don't have to be quite so concerned and freaked out about making arithmetic errors on their journey towards understanding algebra.